Well, hello, and welcome back to my channel where I'm documenting my journey on the Optavia 5-in-1 plan. And if you don't know what Optavia is, it's essentially five fuelings a day that you get in your monthly Optavia box and one lean and green that you make from home spaced out every two to three hours, which puts you into fat burn. So I am back from my vacation. In my last video, I talked about how sick I'd been. I had COVID about a month ago and had some lingering symptoms. And I was still feeling the effect when I left to go visit my friend in Florida. But I'm happy to say I am fully recovered and feeling good. And I am ready to get back on plan. So I did have good intentions on my vacation. I packed some fuelings and I usually did have a fueling for breakfast. And I really wasn't that bad food wise. I tried to have, you know, salads and I split entrees with Mike instead of a whole big one. But where I went wrong was I did have alcohol on my vacation pretty much every day. And that is absolutely not on plan and throws me completely out of whack. Plus, after being on plan for a while, you just don't feel good when you go off plan. And I'm excited to get right back on track. So a little later in this video, I'm going to show you how to make cottage cheese pizza bowl. Now, apparently that went viral on TikTok and I'm gonna show you how to do it and how to count it towards your lean and green. But before I do that, I wanted to share a little bit about my vacation. So Mike and I got there on Wednesday and we did not go to the beach that day. We hung around at the pool and went out for a nice dinner. It was my friend Lisa's husband's birthday that night and we got to meet up with some of their other friends. And we had great weather. We had great weather pretty much the entire time I was gone. Then the next day, we went to a beach called Indian Rocks Beach. And it's about a 10 minute drive from their condo. And it was pretty packed there. It's spring break down there in Florida, but we got to enjoy that. We had great weather. I got kind of sunburned, so I was spraying the 50 SPF. And we then went back on Friday to Indian Rocks Beach again. And I filmed some of my vacation along the way. And I'm going to share that in a little reel a little bit later in this video. So then Saturday, Mike and I left my friend Lisa and Dan's and went to Clearwater Beach. We stayed at the Hilton Clearwater Beach Resort and Spa, and that was pretty nice. Um, Saturday, it was kind of cloudy in the beginning part of the day, and then the um, sun opened up, and we got to have a little bit of sun in the afternoon, and we just went to the pool that day. And then Sunday was supposed to be our last day in Florida, and it was also St. Patrick's Day. So we spent the day at the beach and then we had plans to meet up with Lisa and Dan and their friends in a place called Dunedin, Florida. And Dunedin, as you can tell, is an Irish name. And so they do a huge St. Patrick's Day festival down there. And Clearwater has a ferry that takes you from Clearwater Beach straight to Dunedin. And so Mike and I did that that evening and that was really fun. And we met with Lisa, Dan and uh, four of their friends and um, took this picture. Then we ferried back and got ready because we were supposed to leave the following day. I checked in, we were flying on Frontier. I checked in, got our boarding passes. We had to be at the airport at 7 a.m. So we got up bright and early, packed up, headed to the airport. And when we got there, you know, with Frontier, you have to do everything yourself and everything is extra. So you have to tag your own bags. So I'm at this kiosk and I'm, and I'm trying to 
tag our bags and they keep telling me I'm not checked in. And I'm like, I am checked in. I've got a boarding pass. And they directed me over to the assisted line. And I kept hearing some mumblings about Cleveland, Cleveland, Cleveland. I look up, our flight was canceled. Now, I have the Frontier app and I'm supposed to get text alerts. I did not get either one of those. What they did do was they emailed me at 4.45 in the morning to tell me that the flight was canceled. So who checks their email at 4.45 in the morning when they've already checked in and already had a boarding pass? So we had to fly out the next day. And, you know, poor Lisa and Dan thought they got rid of me and Mike. So we're texting them at, you know, 7.30 in the morning. Can we Uber to your place? <laughs> so Mike and I went and spent the day with them. I felt so bad because, you know, I mean, she's my good friend and she was totally understanding. But, you know, when you have guests and they leave and you're like, um, so we come back, we've got our suitcases. We're like, we're back like a bad penny. But we got another day, we spent it at the pool, went out for a nice dinner. They had live music and got to have what I called a bonus day. And as you can tell, I got quite a bit of sun. So I had overall a great time, was a little frustrated with Frontier. Frontier actually did the exact same thing to me six years ago, and that's another story. But <clears throat> we got home safely and I am back to work today. So I'm gonna show you a little clip of my vacation adventures. And then when I come back, it will be after work and I'm gonna make the cottage cheese pizza bowl recipe. So I will see you guys then.
as you can see, I had a fabulous time on my vacation. But it is now time to get real about following the Optavia 5-in-1 plan. Now, my friend Lisa, who you saw in some of these videos, lost 95 pounds last year. Now, she was not doing Optavia. Um, she was drastically reducing her calories and walking three to four miles a day. And she looks fantastic. She put her nose down to the grindstone and knocked it out, and now she's trying to maintain this loss. So I was talking to her about her weight loss and how she did it, and what she told me was she reduced her calories drastically, even lower than what we have on the five-in-one plan. And she also likes a cocktail on occasion, and she limited herself to one vodka drink a week and she lost the weight and she walked every day. Now, her doctor is concerned because she lost a lot of muscle mass and he's concerned that she does not have enough muscle mass to maintain her skeletal frame. And so she is under the care of a nutritionist and trying to incorporate more protein back into her diet and doing strengthening training. I uh, told her about our Optavia Active program with the EAAs and the protein supplement, and she's going to look into that. But, you know, it made me think that's one good thing about the Optavia 5-in-1 plan, because there is so much protein. Each of the five fuelings has at least 11 grams of protein. Some go up to 15 grams of protein. And then of course, your lean and green has, I believe um, somewhere in the ballpark of like 25 grams of protein at the very least. So I think that the Optavia program is scientifically formulated and especially with the active products, which I have the EAAs, and I, to be perfectly honest, didn't care for the taste, so I hadn't been using them. But after talking to my friend, I think they might be really important. And like anything, when you're on the program, your taste buds change. So I'm going to start incorporating my EAAs because I am also gonna start walking. She credits her maintenance to continued three to four mile walks a day. Now she retired and moved to Florida, so she's got a little bit more time than I do to incorporate that type of exercise. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to do three to four miles a day, but I'm definitely going to try. And I think the program, the Optavia 5-in-1 program is great because they've had people studying this and tweaking it so that you lose weight in the safest manner possible. So now it is time to make my lean and green. And like I said before, I'm going to make the viral TikTok recipe, cottage cheese pizza bowl. And I will link that below. I will link that recipe below, but it seems really easy. I have never made it, so hopefully it will turn out. But you're gonna use a microwave safe bowl, one half cup of cottage cheese, and this is the 1% low fat, and that counts as one third of a leanest. You're gonna use a quarter cup of reduced fat mozzarella cheese, a quarter cup of Rayo's marinara sauce. Now this is Rayo's vodka sauce. It does meet the guidelines for a tomato sauce. And I will link that as well so that you can tell when you're trying to figure out whether something complies. But I don't have the marinara. I definitely need to do a grocery haul this weekend. But I am gonna use the vodka sauce, a quarter cup, and that's one green. And then, eight turkey pepperoni slices. And then that rounds out your complete lean portion of the lean and green. So you're gonna have one lean, one green, um, 
you use a quarter cup, a quarter cup, a quarter teaspoon of Italian seasoning and an eighth teaspoon of crushed red pepper. And I'm going to count that as one condiment. So this seems really too easy to be true, but you take your half cup of cottage cheese and you put it in the bowl. You cover it with a quarter cup of the Rayos and a quarter cup of the mozzarella cheese and the spices. And you stick it in the microwave for 30 seconds. Then you take it out and you stir it up and then you add the turkey pepperoni. Now they suggest quartering that and so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take the eight slices and quarter them. And then you mix that in with the cottage cheese mixture and put it back in the microwave for another 30 seconds and it's done. And like I said, when all is said and done, you have one lean, one green, and one condiment. So for my other two greens, I'm going to make a side salad. Now, one third of that lean is a leanest. So I'm going to use about a tablespoon and a half of some light dressing, probably my light Caesar. I'm gonna use a cup and a half of lettuce and a quarter cup of sliced tomatoes. And that's my cat crying in the background. Um, and I have two more condiments. So I'm going to use um, some red onion and a little bit of my Walden Farms Caesar dressing to kind of supplement that, because that is a condiment, two, actually two tablespoons is one condiment. All right, well, let me turn the camera down so that you can see exactly how I do this.
apart tonight all right well i just finished my lean and green and i did not know what to expect i like cottage cheese but i was a little afraid of the consistency and i was a little afraid it was going to be gross but it was not gross it was delicious and if you don't like the consistency of cottage cheese they say to blend the half cup and then it won't be as lumpy of a consistency. So I have to give a shout out to my subscriber, Rachel, who gave me the idea for the cottage cheese pizza bowl. She messaged me in the comments a couple weeks ago asking me about it and I had no idea what she was talking about. So I looked it up and it looked really interesting and I figured out how to count it and you know, if you don't wanna have a side salad, you could put some vegetables in the pizza bowl as well. I have to correct myself. I said one and a half tablespoons of my light Caesar dressing. And what I meant was one and a half teaspoons. So I used that and a whole tablespoon of my Walden Farms. And the whole thing is a complete lean and green. It is one lean, three greens, three condiments, and just a little tiny bit of a healthy fat to go with the portion that was the cottage cheese, which was a leanest. All right, well, I am getting ready to head out the door. I have a nail appointment. I'm gonna get rid of these St. Patrick's Day nails, and they just called me to come in early. So, if you like this video, please like it below and subscribe to my channel and tick that notification bell so you are alerted every time I upload a new video. All right, I will see you next time.